Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and this is my second, maybe first, who knows which one up goes first, Dollar Tree haul. I got so much stuff, I'm breaking it into two. They're both pretty large and I wanted to be able to share everything with you. Um, if I forget to say this, can you like and subscribe? Hit the hit the notification button, do all the things. It helps uh, get my videos out there. And I very much appreciate it. All right, let's go. This is a mixed bag of stuff. Um, I found this Revitalizing Eye Serum. It says compared to Olay Eyes. Eye lifting. I get puffy eyes. I try all kinds of stuff. Nothing is really sticking other than I use the Ordinary brand of moisturizer and stuff. But I wanted to see exactly what this is. It is... Okay, just like a little tube and you touch it and you and it's supposed to do something uh lift your eyes vitamin e b5 and b3 apply to eye area day and night work to smooth and serum around under eye uh use help daily to help create firmer and lift lifted under eye appearance so if you have like baggy under eyes this should help so they say we'll give it a shot. All right, where are we at? I bought gift wrap, just some plain, um, basically to wrap a box to put a gift basket in, a December 1st burr basket that I'm gifting. Um, but then I just bought another bucket, so I'm not sure. But anyway, it's just plain silver with white snowflakes. I look, was looking for something pretty neutral. So I grabbed that. Their, their gift wrap is fine. Let's be truthful. We're putting it under a tree and then we're ripping it open and throwing it away. The gift wrap is fine at the Dollar Tree. Um, I picked up, oh, I got some of these tweezers. Now, these are not for beauty. These are for crafting. Moving stickers around and stuff, like little things. So I have the reverse tweezers where you squeeze it and then this opens up and then you unsqueeze it and it holds your whatever and then you can place it. My hand, I'm having a hard time with it. So I'm gonna try this just to pick up like when I'm placing little things like stickers and stuff and paper crafting. We'll see. I mean, the one that I have just really doesn't quite work for me. Um, I thought this was adorable glitter encased ribbon to make something pretty. I'm not opening it because I've already glitter bombed my living room, but somebody needs to talk to the Dollar Tree and find out why everything has to be coated in glitter. I actually saw the same ribbon style at Hobby Lobby, but it did not have glitter. We'll see how much glitter is involved before I open this up. And then I'm gonna, have, now I have a trash bag. See how this works? I have a nice trash bag here. Um, I grabbed this. It is the, the milk dupe for the gooey gummy jelly sheer lip and cheek tint. Right? And I've seen people all over the interwebs trying it out. And I was going to try it myself. Now, I'm not going to put it on my lips. I mean, on my cheeks right now, because I can't really. Ooh, it smells good. I can tell you that. So, it's it's like jelly. Ooh. It's wet. It dries fast. It's dry. Pretty color. Um... I mean, it dries super fast and it's, I don't know if I like how it feels. Ioni is the brand. It feels, I like the color. It's staining, which is lovely. We'll see how we like it. It feels kind of drying on my lips, but it's a pretty color. Jury's out. I like it for my lips. I'm not sure I'm shoving it on my cheeks. We'll see. I don't know that I'm that bold. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, I found these. Let me just show them. Um, they're both the same makeup kit. They're just different colors, I'm pretty sure. This one is, yeah, you get three brushes and two beauty blenders. And I'm going to donate these. So I'm not going to open them to like, we do drives at the, my bank for families and stuff. And I feel like the teenage girls kind of get left out. So I'm going to donate some makeup and stuff. And I thought these are good brushes. You get a powder brush, an angle brush, and a blending brush. And then two, two blenders. It is cruelty free, easy to clean. So I found those and I grabbed one of each for gifting purposes. Uh, my store finally got these little belly bags, little fanny pack situation. I'm going to tell you this strap is ample. It is ample. I mean, that's half. That's in half right now. It It is a nice length of a belly bag. To, and I, you can... Um, I'm going to iron something on it, maybe. I have to figure that out because it's also plastic. So maybe I won't, but yeah, cute. If you're on a, like, if you're going somewhere and you need to have a quick little crossbody and you don't want to worry about something good, like getting dirty and gross, this is nice. And I'm telling you, there is plenty of strap here for the world. For all sizes. It is very nice that way. Let's show. I'll show you. And it cut. I saw it in gray. This black. And maroon. So if I give this the whole. Like. This is crossbody. On me. I like it. You know. It'll hold your phone. It'll hold the things that you need. And for $1.25, um, yeah, I like it. Oh, maybe what I'll do is get one of the um, letters and put the letters on here with glue and not iron. So I think I've tried ironing that fabric before. We like it still? Yeah. I would say let it dry and then put some chappy chap over it. This was fun for fall. I love these little trays. I put them in my kitchen, but this one has like the leaves embossed in it. And look at this copper color. I am smitten with this. I love it. They're great. And these are hard. I don't know if they're food safe. Let's see. For decorative use only, not safe for food. So you don't want to put food on here, but you could put like wax paper down or pa uh, parchment paper and then put food on it. Like if you wanted to, or put a cheese board down or something but it is for decorative purposes only. I love it. This coppery, bronzy color. And then these embossed, these leaves are textured too. I just love that. So of course I got it. Oh, I mean, these are for some office gifts. I'll show you in a second. Um, I don't know who put these out, but what the heck. Guys. These are rotary cutters. I looked on Amazon, they're 10, $12. The brand is Zoid. It's a 45 millimeter rotary cutter. I'm gonna open one. I may be gifting the other one. Like what? And then you, you know, you put it up and down. If you want, oh, I'm holding it over here like you can see it. So we have our, you know, our blade comes up. But what I also like is you can have half your blade free. So you have your protector on the top and your blade is available only on the bottom. Then this is a standard 45 millimeter. So um, you can just get different blades and put it in here. Yeah, interesting. This is very interesting. I'm kind of shocked to find this at the Dollar Tree. I will use that for 100%. I will tell you, sometimes I use those for, um, I use these for paper too, but I have fabric ones and paper ones. Like old ones I use on paper, but this one is nice and it has a good sturdy ergonomic grip, which I do enjoy. I was happy to find that. Um, okay. A while ago, I think I already showed you the socks, the um, 
Disney Villain Socks. I found the lip glosses to go with it. And actually, I found them separate. So I grabbed them all. But I have found this one, this one, and this one. So I have these socks. And I'm going to pair them with the lip gloss and put them in a bag for um, treats. Um, and they're cruelty-free. And they are made by Disney. Not tested on animals. So I grabbed this style with the wand. Yes. And then at a different time, I found them in the tubes. Same villain. So everybody will get two of these. Same villains. I feel like I have more villain socks than I have villain lip balm. So maybe they'll get split. I don't know. But we'll figure it out. So then these are the tubes. I wonder if they're the same colors. Let's see. Are they even the same villains? I don't know. No, they're not. Okay, they're not. They're not, well. This one is the same, right? She's the same. And they're not the same color. And then, well. These are the same, but they're different colors. And then these are not. Ursula might have to stay with me. I love her. So I thought they were fun. And they have the matching socks or villain socks. I like to do little gifty thingies at the office around the holidays. And I will show you how I'm doing this one. So I found the Hershey Kisses socks, right? I think I showed you the Twix. But I found different ones. So I got the Hershey Kisses, and then I bought a bag of Hershey Kisses to gift together. And they're just little, throughout the month of December, I like to just have little treats to hand out for everybody just to feel special. We're all working. It's hard. It's our very busy time of the year. And so this is kind of my thing. So I got the Hershey Kisses socks, and I think I have two of these. I do. So I got two of those. We're gonna put them back in here because I wanna keep them together. Um, I got Charms Blow Pops, and then I got the Blow Pop candies. See here, see the theme? And these are so soft and squishy and cozy. So I got those, and I do have the Twizzlers upstairs. So I got some Twizzlers, and then a Blow Pop because I wasn't sure how many I needed. Then for the Reese's, I got Reese Pieces to go with the Reese can socks. And I know these are for girls. I'll have boy stuff too. And then I got, I have the Jolly Rancher. And so I got the Jolly Rancher Gummy Sours. Isn't that fun? And then the other socks. My team mostly is ladies. But um, for the guys, I think I'm going to go to Costco and get like beef jerkies and nut mixes and things like that. Popcorn, they like, the guys like popcorn. I will have something for everybody, do not fear. Okay, next up I grabbed this basket for a gift. I'm doing a gift basket a beauty gift basket for a guy. And I thought this is a fun loofah and I got a bunch of um, squatch, the man smelling stuff. I'm gonna put it in here for him in this basket and then they can reuse the basket or toss it, it doesn't really matter, but I needed some, a vessel, right? So I got that and I got the loofah because. And then I found these and I thought they were super fun. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of these car coasters that absorb the water when you're drinking, especially in the summer. So I got two of those for the burr basket. So all this stuff is just spread out. Oh, I found these bronzing drops and we're gonna try them. I don't know how to use them, but we're gonna figure it out because everybody was talking about them. And I think you just put it in moisturizer and it gives you a little bronze. I don't know. But I found them and I was excited at the time. Right, right. Let me put this gift basket stuff back together. Okay, next up, um, 
just a gift bag. Cellophane. I don't think this one. Yeah, this one is not. This one is not um, where you take your hair dryer or your heat gun and it shrink wraps. This is just regular, and you get two because gift basket season, guys. We're at we're at the gift wrapping season. Um. So I picked uh I picked up some snowballs. When I do the snowman, turn the pumpkin into a snowman, I wanted to put like the coal on the front and I was having a hard time finding black pom-poms. I may have found the right size, but if not, I'll just spray paint these black and glue them on. No big deal. Um, for some paper craft gift idea I have for some stocking stuffers, I wanted a couple of these with the 2025 calendar in them. And I will use this for something else. But I really just wanted these calendars. So I'm going to make three with post-it notes. For stocking stuffer. And then I found this. The brand is Clean Color. Um, I'm assuming this is supposed to be a dupe on like some high-end makeup. I honestly don't know. I mean, I don't like naked palette or something, but we're going to see. Clean Color is the brand. Ooh, that is some intense eyeshadow colors. Let's swatch one. Let's do the purple. See how pigmented it is. Hmm. Definitely not as pigmented as I thought it would be. Honestly, it's not as dark as I thought either. Let's see this bronzy color. Not bad. Comes with a brush. On the inside here, you have the protector for the... And then you have a mirror. And then you can see your colors. I mean, it's a fun little palette for sure. And maybe I'll use some of the darker, I mean, the lighter colors. I'm not a dark eyeshadow kind of girl, but I wanted to see what it was all about. This is the Megawatts. It's the first one that I've come across. So I'll put it with all my makeup. Makeup finds, if you will. Let's put this in here. And that in the trash. Trying to clean my living room, guys. All right. So, I found this faux crafter. What? Obviously, this is the Grinch, right? So, I got two green. And it just comes on a little, it's a little roll. So, if you want to add accents to something. So, I got some green, white, and red. And it's already cut. Like, super easy, super fun, crafting. I'm going to do something Grinch. Do you remember the pencils when we were little? And they, my generation, we would, it, this would be glued on it. And then you would, it would be a troll. And its hair would, I could make those. I don't know. But I need to chew green because Grinch. Right. Okay. Um, I grabbed some fusible interfacing. I just think this is so convenient. And I think it's only this is heavyweight which is good i think it's only fusible on one side questionable um using iron on fusible interfacing always pre-wash on material preheat okay yeah i think it's just it's only adhesive on one side which is what i needed for a little project. Um, I grabbed some more of these. I love making these little notebooks. They're super fun. And they, I found they do come in two sizes, but this is the bigger of the two, I think. Have to check, but I think it is. So I grabbed those, crafting. I'm a paper crafter now. Um, I wanna try to make, for stocking stuffers, a little sleeve for the, that I got some card making things because a wonderful friend Karen from Canada sent me 
some cross stitch uh, rubber stamps. So I needed some cardstock to play with those. So I grabbed that. Um, I put these pens when I decorate these notebooks. And this also may be a little gift for my office desks. Um, sports themed maybe or something. Uh, just some plain black fabric for backing projects because we always need just some plain black. And it's very convenient to just pick it up in that amount. For the rubber stamps, I got this little block. I need a bigger one, but this one will do for the smaller things. Um, I have a little project in mind with some of the plastic wine glasses that I got. And this is just some glitter and some stickers. Fun. For my niece, she's getting married this year. I'm going to make something with this. I don't know what. It's an iron-on patch and it says Mrs. on it. And I thought that was very convenient. Um, oh, that's for me. It says salty. <laughs> iron on as well. I found a few iron on things. Valentine's Day. I thought that was super cute. And then for my niece, I'll give her that one as well. Um, I just thought these were really fun. And, you know, iron on. I have some zebra pens as well to give with the little notebooks because we all like a nice pen and zebra is a nice pen. But I didn't find enough zebra pens to do um, the Buckeye stuff. So I bought the other pens. I don't really know what this is for, but I bought it. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know why they're selling an acrylic board at the Dollar Tree. I, I don't know. I mean, it's just a board. I'm not, I'm not sure. But I bought it. Clearly. Oh, here are the notepads that I got. And they're Christmas color. These were out at the school season. But these are post-it brands. I want to make little post-it holders for things. Two, four, six. I can make eight. I can use the calendars or not use the calendars. So I thought these would be fun little desk gifts too. Double-sided tape because everybody needs some double-sided tape. This is gel tape. Let me tell you, I bought this when it was in the black box and I used a whole roll of this to hang a sign on a window. That was a bad idea. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, this is some intense tape. It's great. Don't get me wrong, but don't go overusing it like I did. It took three of us to get that sign off the window. Uh, for some card making, just some gold dot situation. Oh, to go with the snowman, um, the snow theme, I was going to put some of this. We'll make it. I just have to figure out how to make a Santa hat, cardstock hat. So just some fake snow. That stuff is handy, but messy. And then the last, oh, nope, flies. I found these. These are so fun. I love a fat pen. So this is like a gold color and this is pearl white. They both write in black and they are 0.7 millimeter, but I just love a fat pen. I think cause I can hold it well. And I feel like I might have bought one before and I broke it. I did buy one before now that I'm thinking about it. Well, I took it out of the package. So then I bought another one because I didn't want a broken pen. So be careful when you take them out of the package. I broke the plastic grippy here. Okay, we'll write on. Ooh, it writes nice. Yeah, it's nice and smooth, but I love the grip in my hand. It's so pretty. And if you're giving any kind of like stationary gifts for Christmas, that would be fun to go in there. I am also doing that for my niece. All right, then I found these. These are just for my coffee bar. I probably won't drink out of them, but you know. Um, these are sweaters. I'm sorry, what? They're sweaters. They have them in red, white, and green. I didn't get the white um, because, and actually they can't go on my coffee bar here because my coffee kitchen is pink and white, but it doesn't matter.
what's happening? I thought it would be a good thumbnail. I got some mugs. I love them. I love the texture of them. Yes. So that, my friends, is everything. That was a long one that I got at the Dollar Tree in the last couple weeks. I hope you enjoy. I'm done. I'll talk with you later. Bye.